Hey everyone, back to another exciting episode of Attack Productions. Today, I'm Beckerhart Beach once again by Jake and Fluff. What's going on, y'all? What's happening, beautiful people? And today, we're continuing going over the set's uh, 19 cards as we are getting into the green Gogeta deck. More Gogeta. Let's see how well this one goes. Um, <laughs> there's buttons. Feel free to click the there for a reason. But here we go. Veku. Um, starting with the leader card. When this card attacks, look up the top five cards of your deck. Add up to one Sun Goku BR, Vegeta BR, or Gogeta BR card, all green, with an energy cost of six or less among them to your hand. Shuffle your deck, and this card gains 5,000 power for the battle. That's pretty nice, because it's a 5k initially, so now it becomes a 10k with that effect. Auto, if you have two or more energy, when one of your Z cards activates AX Evolve, you may flip this card to its back. If you do, draw one, switch up to one of your energy's active mode, add cards from your life until you have six. And or if you get four or less life, you may draw one. Switch one of your cards active. This is very similar to the uh, Go Tinks as well, um, for the exception of the power boost and the five K. But over, ultimately, if you evolve or whatever, you get to do cool stuff. And I'm when, more, I'm more excited that Veku is on a leader. Yeah, well, it's than anything else. That's only for uh, two turns because once you've uh, awakened, yeah. you're Gogeta. <laughs> Fusion yeah. complete. Technically, Veku is a complete fusion. It's just a mishap. Um, auto, once returned, when you play a green battle card with EX Evolve from your Z energy or a green Gogeta BR card with Union skill from your hand, you draw one card. So initially, just kind of like Gotenks, you're able to establish an extra draw every turn, which should be good. Auto, when this card attacks, draw one, and this card gains 5,000 power for the battle. Pretty simple. I do like the, uh, the first auto, though, be able to get more draws, which is always great. Unless it's too many draws, then we get a problem. Wait, so when this card attacks, draw a card and you get plus 5k and playing green metal. Oh, yeah, that doesn't seem that bad. It seems just like regular go tanks. Yeah, I, I really like the potential draw two on this side of the leader and the plus 5k on the battle. And kind of knowing what's coming ahead in the, in the archetype, <clears throat> both of those are really easy to set up the EX Evolve and Union without necessarily having to worry about the cards in your hand. So let's go over the one drops first before we go into your combo cards. Uh, Sun Goku, Liberating Up. I like this art. Like, I love that they also click. I know we complain a little bit about set 18's Piccolo and Gohan stuff because it's like, oh, it's 3D and it looks like the movie, but it looks crap in the card. This looks phenomenal. Like, and I know yeah. the the 3D effects look better in person, but this already looks better. I love the fact that they're using the art from the movie for this. Um, auto when this card is played from your hand, look up the top seven cards of your deck, add up to one Sun Goku BR or Vegeta BR card and win them. Both green with inch cost of six or less, and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. And if I recall correctly, Vegeta's pretty much the exact same. Yeah. So simple one drop searchers, fantastic. So immediately, this opens up the possibility of a red green Gogeta PR deck. Yeah, You're combining with the uh, things that came out in uh, what, what was that, Vermilion Bloodline? Yeah, yeah. Like, so I'm already interested to see how compatible this stuff is with that. I think they're pretty locked by by the color of the fusion pieces that they're in. Like, the reds require red Goku's Vegeta's, the greens require green. Um, but I could be wrong about that. Cards you want to combo, and that's kind of weird to go into next, but the three drops. We have Sun Goku, All Out Evolution, Deflect, EX Evolve, Limit 1, 1 green, draw one card, green Sun Goku, BR of Inchi Cost of 2 or less. The reason why this is a combo card, because this card's EX Evolve can also be activated from your Z Energy. If your leader is green uh, Vecu BR or green Gogeta BR card, when this card is played, you draw one card, then discard one card from your hand. So right there for one energy is a draw two. Keep that in mind. And if I recall correctly, uh, SS Vegeta, all out evolution, deflect crit, limit one, um, draw one card, play this card, uh, vintage cost uh, two or less, and then permanent this EX of all can be activated from your Z energy as well. So these two cards are cards that you want to combo off early on, so that way you can use them for furthering plays. Vegeta will not give you two draws, but still gives you one draw with a 15k crit. I think this is fantastic. It it gives, we talked about like the whole Z deck and Z energy being something like, what are you going to want to combo cards off? These are cards you want to combo off because now you're using your Z energy as a separate hand. 
for future play. It's kind of like the old KP stuff when you play stuff from your life or decks that play from your energy. It just gives you an extra hand without having to worry about what's in your hand currently. So like if you for some reason have no cards in hand, you have other ways of playing cards still and then just immediately drawing from those cards being played. Well, and you're getting double value out of the cards, too, because you're able to combo, you know, on a lead on lead swing. Your opponent doesn't combo. You combo with one of these guys. They go to the Z energy. Next turn, you turn around EX evolve off of them. You're getting double value off of these cards. And I, I really do like that interaction. And I, I, I think that this kind of indicates the type of possibility and potential that Z energy and Z decks have for us in the future. Since these are cards that are going to be taken from your Z energy, what are you going to use your Z energy for? We, we've seen the options of green cards beforehand. They're very limited. There's one specifically really mentioned for Turtle School. Then you have the Frieza, and that's about it. So the Z cards that you're going to play for this uh, particular deck is the Leader, which only requires two Z energy. And Z weakens one green. When your life is four or less, green go, go G to BR. Permanent during your turn, this card gains 5,000 power, so it's 20k on your turn. Auto once return when you play a green battle card with EX Evolve from your Z Energy or a green Gogeta BR card with a Union Skill from your hand, choose one. Either draw two cards and discard one card from your hand, or your opponent discards one card from their hand. I do like that option there, depending on what the situation is. Like if you feel like your hand's pretty good and your opponent's getting low, make them discard another card or just gain an extra card to your hand. Auto when your opponent uses one card in a combo. You may place up to one card with 5,000 combo power or less from your opponent's combo area in its owner's drop if you do need the skill for a turn. So, wow. This also gives me an idea with that draw two, discard one. You could just play Ruby and and play a slight hand control with this deck. Gives you options. Is this built-in combo killing? Am I understanding this correctly? Built-in combo That's... killing on the Z Awakened, yes. Yep. I love this card. Um... This is the first thing I've seen out of set eight, out of set nineteen that seems to be on the power level of some of the things we've got from set eighteen. Uh, I could see so far in this archetype, uh, things working out really well uh, for this deck overall. Like if the meta game stays relatively similar. Now, keep in mind of the cards we've gone over so far. I have not seen a unison card yet. Um, so we may not get unison cards for this set, but depending on how you play your deck out, it may not be may a good idea. Them. Well, I was going to point out it may be a good idea just to play a two-drop unison mm -hmm. known as Bardock, because then yeah. you're sniping two combo cards uh, every turn. Two on your opponent's turn, two on your, on your turn when they're trying to defend themselves, and that will hurt their Z energy as well, which is these actually kind of trying to go over. Yep, yeah, that's that's true. Going over the other Z card for the deck, which is a battle card, Bulma, one energy, one Z energy card. So this right here tells us that the Z energy that you need is very low, naturally, for this deck. You don't need high Z energy for anything, um, which is fantastic. So you could use EX Evolves as much as you want without having to worry about um, ruining those um, that support uh, resource. Auto, if you lead a card is green, Beku BR, or green Gogeta BR, when you attack with a Sun Goku BR or Vegeta BR card, both with EX Evolve skills, you may use one card from under that card in a combo with its skills negated for the turn if you do negate this skill for the turn. So right here is giving you another way of just comboing cards off, which is fantastic. Activate main limit one if your leader card is green, Beku, or Gogeta BR card, and you place one card from your hand at the bottom of your deck, play up to one Sun Goku or Vegeta BR card, both green with energy cost of one from your deck with its skills to get it for the turn, then shuffle your deck um, and remove this card from the game. So <laughs> initially, you could play this for one, swing with a Goku or whatever you want to swing with, get that little combo piece out of the way, put that in your Z energy, cool, then turn around, activate main, play a one drop, immediately just evolve that again with another card that's in your, uh, with like, say if you swung with the Goku, evolve from the Vegeta because those evolves, I recall, were limit one, so... It's a very weird, uh, probably one of the weirdest Z battle cards that we've ever seen as far as providing more of a utility towards the archetype, being able to use the combo out, and then it's kind of send-off utility is pulling a Goku or Vegeta to the field to set up a future EX Evolve. So 
I kind of like this card. My initial criticism was that it doesn't have barrier, but after like fully reading the card, it doesn't really need barrier because it's most likely going to come out serve its purpose and then leave. Yeah, I think the uh, the design space of Z battle cards having utility is really strong in general because one of the things that I think is exciting about the Dragon Ball card game and what makes it appealing is that it's relatively difficult to just completely clunk out because you can charge any card in your hand as energy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of leaders have like self-fixing and things like that. So I I think this card kind of leans into just overall, like what Dragon Ball is as a game, uh, despite it being not really attacking or defending you in any way. Yep. Our next cards are the four drops. We have SSG Sun Goku Crimson Impact. EX Evolve, limit one for one green. Draw one card. Green Sun Goku BR of inch costs three or less. This go on top of the four, uh, sorry, three drops or the one drop. This card, EX Evolve, can be activated from your ZMG as well. And then auto, if you lead a card, it is green Vacu BR or Gogeta BR card. And you discard one card from your hand. When this card is played, you play up to one Sun Goku BR or Vegeta BR card, both green with energy cost of one from your drop of its skills, negate it for the turn and rest mode. You just, just... Play the card you discard. Discard one of those cards and play that. Boom, there you go. And Vegeta, I think, is very similar where EX Evolve, limit one, draw one, top of three or less. Can be done from your Z energy. Auto, when this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards with energy cost of four or less and KO it. So, like, once again, these are resources you could combo off, put into your Z, have them sitting there. Now your opponent knows because the Z energy is an open area. They can see that what's there. If they're playing certain cards, you go, hmm. There's a target. Now you give them a target to pay one energy to draw and then snipe one of your cards out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that they're giving us multiple EX Evolve targets uh, for this archetype. And, you know, kind of bringing up the interaction with Bulma, if you have a three-drop Goku on the field, you EX Evolve into the four-drop Goku, get his effects off, swing with the Goku after you've played the Bulma, load your three-drop back into the... Z deck uh, to, to Z energy. The four drop Goku has played another Goku out. You can EX evolve again and get another draw too. Like it seems like really strong with a lot of combo potential. And for the last Goku and Vegeta card in the deck, we have SSB Sun Goku and SSB Vegeta team attack for six energy. Double strike when this card would leave your battle area, remove it from the game. It says you can't combo this from the battle area. When this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards if energy costs six or less, KO it. And this card gets plus 5,000 power for the turn. Additionally, if you have at least one Sun Goku BR card and one Vegeta BR card in your uh, Z energy, you draw one card. So right there is getting a draw just for playing this card. And then activate main limit one for one green energy. If your leader card is green Veku or Gogeta BR card and you have three or more energy, play this card from your hand or Z energy. For one energy, you're playing a... 20k card initially potentially and drawing a card off that as well and it's a double strike and if you want to tech in secret rares for secret rares sakes that's pretty cheap for turn five if you're if you're going that far in a green deck for xeno cell yeah uh i really like this card overall the the yeah. double strike is very nice um again just oh, sorry real quick uh you can't xeno sell this card sorry go on yeah if it would leave the battle area, remove it from the game instead. Yeah. yeah, so you couldn't use this as Xeno Cell fodder, but I don't think you really need that aspect of it for this to be a good card. Uh, getting, a little, getting a little piece of removal is nice. I mean, although you have a ton of that in green. And uh, just being able to play this from your hand or Z energy, it, it's given me kind of like, Bojack vibes, where Bojack would play cards from its energy and kind of use its energy as a second hand. Although I think most blue decks are doing that nowadays with the Zeno super combo. Kind of, yeah. Now, let's go over the Gogeta cards. Starting with the six drop, SS Gogeta facing the ultimate. Deflect, dual attack, union fusion for two green. If your opponent has two or more energy and you draw one card, green sun Goku BR and Vegeta BR permit. You can choose battle cards in your Z energy when choosing cards with this card's union skill from your hand. If you do, place chosen cards in the owner's drop area. That's just really good. 
Um, limit uh, auto limit one. When this card is played, choose one of your opponent's battle cards. KO it. If this card can't, uh, sorry, and this card can't be KO'd until the end of your opponent's next turn. This card is fine. Um, I don't think this card does too much. I think it does just the right amount. Um, this card isn't going to be abusable. It's not particularly degenerate. It's just a good, solid green card, which is what I really like about this archetype. It doesn't feel degenerate at all. It just seems like it's good. I think this would have had... Uh, I, I think this would have had... I think this would have been fine if you had given it barrier. Sorry, I got kind of a brain fart there. Um, but it, uh, overall, I, I think I agree with fluff. It's not busted. It's just fair, but are fair boss monsters, uh, going to be competitive as the set goes on? I don't know if you need to, I mean, I'm sure you would include this card, but I don't know if you need to resolve it to win a game with this deck. Yeah, probably not, but we do have one more good Gita card and that's the eight drop limits broken deflect d- double strike. Permit, this card cannot be KO'd, so it's no longer an auto on play. Auto limit one, when this card is played, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barrier, KO it. And your opponent discards one card from your hand. Activate main for one green energy. If your opponent has three or more energy, and you add one of your go G to BR cards, energy cost of six to your energy, Z energy, play this card from your Z energy. So this is where this kind of comes into play. You play the six drop. It's in your battle area. You swing dual attack. You get the draw for it. You can turn around and pay one to send that card to your Z energy to play the A drop right afterwards with a double strike and popping another card, getting rid of another um, card from your opponent's hand. And that's just really good for three energy potentially in one turn. Or like I said, you could just play the first Gogeta, let it sit, and then on the following turn, because it can't be KO'd during your opponent's turn because of the auto, and then you play this card after a swing of that card potentially two times. Oh, yeah. This is starting to be really reminiscent of the red Gogeta from Vermilion Bloodline, the other Gogeta BR archetype, where you play, you fuse into one Gogeta and then play another one on top of that, and uh, they get just increasingly big effects as they go up. I also, I love the art on this card, but the shattering. Yeah, the art of... is fantastic. Yeah, the, it, it 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 reminds me more of the Harudagarn archetype, where it is replacing one of its pieces with another piece that has an escalating effect. And it'd be yeah. interesting to see if there's another level to this, or if this eight drop is going to be the pinnacle of it. I, I, I really don't want the next one of the three secrets being a Gogeta card, but yeah. have we had a green secret in a while? I know we had the filled card, or the extra card. Going into cleanup pretty much, we have the super combo. Um, kind of similar to Android 13, we've already read, but and I think the super combo from the trios. It, leader Z leader or two energy, two cards in your Z energy, or you have a Z battle card in play. I mean, that's going to be very easy to the second as well, because you're Cycling card, you want to put cards in there to, to continue playing from. So this will most likely be activated. But at the same time, is it better just to play another super combo with this type of archetype? Probably. We have the... Probably. Yeah. We have the two-drop skillless Piccolo. Nothing much on that one. And then following up with the only extra card that we got for this one. This is a very interesting one because it's in the gate. So it's a counterattack limit one. So you can do this once... Uh, per turn, if your leader is green Vigaku or green Gogeta BR card, negate the attack. Additionally, you may discard one green card from your hand. If you do, your opponent can only attack two more times for the turn. Permanent, if your leader card is green Gogeta BR and at least one Sun Goku BR card and one Vegeta BR card is in your Z energy, you can actually this card's counter from your hand without paying energy cards. I think that's fantastic. This is where the trade-out becomes... Um, and a lot of people in our Discord were, in our Discord was kind of talking about it like, you know, is this better than Dormant Potential? Yes and no. Dorm potential, your opponent only attacks twice. Now, grant the attack they're coming attack with is still going through, and then they got one more attack afterwards. This one stops the attack strip, and then they got two more attacks after that. But a lot of times, when I do a dormant, I have a homicidal clone in my hand. I'm like, well, this would be a waste to use now, because then I'm not getting the blocker off. 
with this card, yeah. you could do that and then use Homicidal Clone afterwards and then have, boom, boom, stop the next two attacks afterwards. So it really just depends on your playstyle and what you're more comfortable with. My my favorite thing about this card is that the card's name made Bancroft avoid trying to say it. Uh, I, I, didn't the card's even, name, <laughs> I didn't even but, say it. The card's name is Weiss's Capriciousness. Um, I think this card is fine. I think ba- the the point that Bancroft brought up about you know having homicidal clones and this card paired with homicidal clones feels a little bit more worth it than having say dormant and homicidal clones or something like that. So I can see for this archetype, especially being able to activate it for free, is really not bad. Um, there's nothing wrong with this card per se. I think this card is perfectly fine. And if you're not going to be running a unison archetype, like a, a unison with this deck, then just having this card replace your dormants is going to be perfectly fine. Yeah. And that goes to the idea like, there was no unisons that we got. We haven't seen, only we got unison at all for all three archetypes that were dropped so far. So we may not get a unison period this set. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty clear the the design of this deck is like we don't you don't need to play a Unis and we're gonna give you this dormant potential art alternative and it's at common so that th- they clearly want you to include this card in in just about every Gogeta BR deck. Um, I w- on the point, uh, I think part of Green's strength is its Unisons and the cards that the Unison play enables. So. I don't know if you will be able to include a lot of cards from Green's past, like the uh, big Frieza that we saw out of uh, Ultimate Squad, or um, just classics like Charismatic Villain. And I think the Dodoria requires a unison in play yes, as it does. well. Yep, it, it does. And yeah. that's a really potent Floodgate stopper that this deck would really benefit from. So I hope there's room in the list for a unison overall. Because that uh, really uh, empowers green just in general. And before we sign off, I just want to point out that I really enjoy them trying to make Weasel look kind of surprised when in the movie he wasn't that surprised at all. But with that being said, thank you for tuning in. Keep mind just button down below. Feel free to put stuff in the comments. I do my best when I try to answer them unless I have super busy weekends like this past weekend. And Fluff, lead us out. Of course, as always, make sure to read your cards, know your plays, let us make the mistakes so that you don't have to, and fluff the fuck out, people.